So here we are once again, Sunday in New York, in the park. In one of my forced marches that she makes me take. The death march that I make them the take. The death march she <laughs> makes me take. <laughs> and we are sitting here at a bench in Morningside Park. Which, which is, is right our, below Columbia University. Which is the usual park we use. No, we go to Central Park sometimes. Occasionally we go to Central Park. Occasionally we go to this other park. I can't remember the name of it now. Can you? Grange, Grayer. It was named after a famous Garvey, place. Garvey. Uh, Marcus Garvey, Marcus Garvey Park. Park. Yeah. Which is nice too. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, and, uh, but I don't know. I like this one best, you know, because it's, uh, I don't know, it's just comfortable. It's quaint. And, and it's it's large, actually. Yeah. It's a very large park. <laughs> it goes all the way from. Well, down on 110th Street. All the way up to, what, 123rd, I think. No, not. Is it yeah, yeah. Yes, it goes to 123rd. Yeah. So that's, uh, that's it's good. 13 blocks, which is about, it's not a mile. You know? No, but but it's it's nice. It's every, a every street in New York, if you have 20 streets, you it's go a mile. on 20 miles. You go on one mile. If you're going the north or south streets. Yeah, that's how you can tell. Yeah. You know? I had a friend, Steve who used to like to really give the uh, taxi drivers a bad time and saying their meters were off <laughs> because he would count the number of blocks we went and then look at the meter and he said, oh, you're about two, about a, a three tenths of a mile off, you know? <laughs> and they they would argue with him all the time, but he would he was, every time we got in, he was counting, you know? So I knew there was gonna be a big argument going. And that was that. That was that, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, so this is Sunday, and it's very nice out here. Nice it's a breeze. Beautiful day. There's a there's a cool breeze, not right here, right now, because we're in a very hot bench that was vacated by people who didn't want a hot bench. They wanted the shady bench. They want down the there. shady bench down there. But well, um, and a lot of people use this park for parties. Yeah. And, you know. It's a nice breeze. It's in the seventies, and good sleeping weather. Yeah, uh, it was wonderful sleeping weather. I didn't. 11 and a half hours I slept. I don't know, but you don't tell the air conditioner to go off and not even turn on, on the, the windows. Turn not on. even turn on the windows? Not even. Yeah. The windows turn on and off. Yeah, well, you have to do that, and you have to do it without waking me up. I wish we had windows that would go up electric. I'm later. sure they have them. You know? Yeah. Uh, a lot of things I wish. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I wish our landlords would go to hell, but anyway, <laughs> that's another story. <laughs> oh God! So we we've just been uh, yeah we're we're in another fight with the landlords. Yeah, a small fight that they can't win, but you know they they're gonna fight everything, aren't they? Yeah. I don't know what about last year last two years rent doesn't apply to a renewal lease. But Let's not renew discuss it now. What, what part of the word renewal You're don't Dan you Gilbert. understand? Hey, Dan, Don. I opened the window. Said Dan. I opened the window in influenza. Influenza. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, 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 Don Giller uh, is one of our, my favorite callers, actually. He's shy to call, but he's one of my favorites because he had, has just a very wry sense of humor. I like influenza. Like. Yeah. I mean, you know. Hey, Don, now that I don't have a best friend because Shecky died and he was my last best friend, will you be my best friend? <laughs> he um, won't go out. <laughs> I asked uh, I asked Albert to be my best friend. I said he might be, but w would you like to be my... He one says, of them. I have few friends. So you want to be my best friend. That's you want to be I one asked. of them. <laughs> you know. I, uh, she has all kinds of friends. I don't. None of them live in the city. Well, well who are these people that call all the time? They're people that don't live in the like city. Like, we're doing this show today for Paula. She's no, no, Phyllis, Phyllis from New Jersey. Oh, Phyllis from New Jersey. She asked if we were doing she a asked. show together. Uh, only after Phil. Thank you, Don. <laughs> if Phil is my best friend, let me die now, okay? From my side of the track, yeah. Phil can go fuck himself. It, well... He was a pain in the ass the other he night. He still is. He hasn't outgrown that. Well, you know, there's a, there's an aspect of Phil that's nice and good. I haven't seen that I've side. I've seen it. I've seen it, you know. But uh, his outward appearance is just vile. Yeah. Weren't you doing, like, 
interviews with him and not having him on the show. Yeah. You should continue that. Well, yeah, well, <laughs> he's, he stays with it till the end. The but, show? Yeah, but, you know, it's a question of when people call my show, okay? Yeah. Let, let this be a primer to people who call my show. Uh, you know, call it and join it. Don't uh, uh, take it over, you know? And he comes on and he just, you know, takes it takes over. over the conversation. And as a result, other people are afraid to even talk. And uh -huh. as a result, other people are afraid to call. Like the other night, he wasn't on. And we had like 12 people. So why do you, you have know? to let him on every time? You don't have to let him on. You do I, it occasionally. It's out, of, uh, it's out of a sense I have that if I say, you want to be on the show, yeah, but call Alex, me. It ruins that I, that I don't make Respect exceptions. the host. Yes, yeah, respect, absolutely. Re respect the host. Yes, yeah. yes. I've, but you don't have to let him on every time. That's the point. Yeah. And you should... Well, um, I, you know, I, 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 you know, I let everybody on. Except those who, of course, want to show porn films on my <laughs> Zoom calls. I love these guys who do that. You know, they, they, they call the show because they can. Right. Okay? And then uh, what they run is like uh, gay sex. It's always guys having sex with guys. I mean, they, they put that on your thing? Yeah, yeah. Do they, you shut it down? Well, I shut it down. But now what I do, when I see a name I don't know, you don't let I on. go to my camera rather than the Zoom. I then click on it, and if they're okay, we continue. All right, but, but getting back to Phil, I think what well, Wait a minute, should, let me finish wait. with these guys. Okay. So they, they always do this, and they never, they never get their stuff on now because of the way I do You're things. You're handling it. The way I'm handling it. And also, I can tell they're going to be one of the ones because they come on and then they can't get the film going fast enough. So right. it's stalling. I see their face and then I'm, I see them. So I can get rid of them immediately, you know. Well, then do so, that. Uh, so why do they waste their time? All right, but getting back and to Phil. And why is it always gay porn? And getting back to Phil, you don't have to let him on all the time. Look how good the shows are without him. The only penises I want to see are in vaginas, okay? <laughs> anyway. What, what, Phil, eh, you know. You don't have to let. You said how great the shows are when he doesn't. When he's not. Well, there. no, I'm not, the other night it was particularly great. I think because everybody saw that Phil wasn't there, and they felt, hey, uh, good chance that uh, Phil's not calling tonight. I think I can call and get a word in edgewise. Well, you don't have to let him in well, every night. Well, he just he monopolizes the conversation. Well, then don't allow him in every night. I let always, him out once a week. I like to describe it, and I always have, as I'm driving down the road with this show, right? Mm -hmm. And he's a drunk in the, the, the passenger seat tugging on the steering wheel. And you allow it. And I have to keep... The car, but you don't. Going straight. You don't. You allow him to take over the car. So after that, I'm exhausted. I don't blame you, but you can correct that. Yeah. You do not have to let him on the show yeah. every single night. Yeah. But anyway, otherwise, uh, look, uh, everything's good. Is anything happening that we? You know, we didn't do. We didn't take a shower today. Today, when we get back, we have to take it. Today's shower day. <laughs> What's your history with him, he says. What's my history with him? He claims that I knew him. <laughs> uh, Figures. Back, back in the day in San Francisco. Before the first... Let's first see, time uh, around? First time around, yeah, with uh, uh, Live 105 and so on. No, actually, it was a camel, KML. And then he helped me there. And then, I don't think he helped me beyond that. You know. How did he help you? He, he just helped. He, he he asked if he could help. So I let him help. What did he do? Open the doors for people. Are I you don't serious? Know. I can't remember that. He likes to think he was my producer, but he really wasn't. Uh, I didn't get a producer until... Albert? No, until I was at, uh, at the Quake, I had a producer. Oh. I started having a producer. A person who would... Produces. Book the guests and so on. I think I may have... At, it came me on, I may have had a person that did the booking, but mm -hmm. outside of that, I didn't have a producer. And then when I went to the to Live 105, I had actual producers, you know, they were the second in command. 
And, so that's good. Uh, one I had to get rid of. Well, actually, two I had to kind of get rid of after a while. But it's, uh, you know. No, it's time to get rid of Phil. You really don't like Phil. Well, he, he monopolizes, takes over, and he's, he's, he's a racist in his own way. And here we are talking about him. That's true. Yeah. He's like Trump, you know. Yeah, the more you talk about him, the bigger his power gets. So. But anyway, uh, gee, I hope Trump uh, is in trouble. Uh, when are they going to indict him? On well, the tomorrow, I think, is Georgia. Is Georgia? Yeah. Are they going to do it tomorrow? They said so. Hmm. They said perhaps, maybe. Well, what they do is they have to send all these things to the grand jury, and then the grand jury votes to indict. Something like that. Well, trying to reconnect. We lost signal here. And the sun came out even more. Well, you know, we should probably bring this to a close only because we did this today for, for uh, uh, your friend. Um, for Phyllis in for New Phyllis Jersey. And for Di Don and for Paul And for Paula. And Don. And Have Don, you ever seen Phil Don, and, and the gay porn guys seen at the same, same time? time. <laughs> <laughs> I love you, Don. Please call. Yeah, yeah. So our good friend Dan Geller. <laughs> Don Geller. I call him D Dan Geller. Don uh, Geller. That's the way we. Anyway, thank anyway. you. Thank you everybody for watching, and uh, uh, this will go up, and then other people will watching it. And okay. Albert Downing is watching. Hi, Albert. How Hi. Are you? Okay, so we. One send day, off. one day when we come out to the park, we can put people. No, on. I don't want it. You don't want it. No. I'll come out and this do it. This is our thing. I'll come out and do this it. This is our thing. I'll come out. And All do right, it. you'll do it. I'll come out and do it. Go ahead. I'll come out. And All do right, it. let's I'll let's do, finish this. I'll do this. the Marjorie and Alex show without Marjorie. Okay, let's yeah. say goodbye. Goodbye. Mm. Oh, that that's not. <laughs> that's give me fun. give me a good kiss. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Bye. You're good people and.